So firstly, uh, we believe uh, the uh, carve out and listing and concurrent demerger of OFI. Uh, we are positioning OFI as a very attractive platform to tap into the growing demand uh, for uh, sustainably sourced, natural, fully traceable, plant-based food ingredients and solutions. And uh, OFI is a leader in all of the five categories that it participates in, including cocoa and coffee and edible nuts and spices and dairy. And it has got a radically transparent sustainability pro proposition that is very well differentiated. And therefore, it has a very strong growth algorithm. So our first objective is to carve out OFI by the end of this year and then list it at a, in a suitable exchange in the first half of 2022. Your question about uh, which stock exchange that we will be listing in, uh, as you would fully expect, we are carefully considering all our options uh, in terms of which would be the ideal venue for us to list. And at this point in time, we have not made that determination. And over the course of the next uh, several months, uh, the board and the advisors, we will come to a firm uh, decision on where we would like to list. Our objective and criteria is very clear in terms of which location would suit OFI's business. And that is to find a market where the unique value proposition of OFI and the differentiated business model could be fully understood so that we can get the greatest possible value for our uh, all our shareholders and our stakeholders. And uh, that is what we will be focused so on. Okay, so hopefully when you make that decision about which exchange in the next few months, you'll come and talk to CNBC first about that, Sunny. I understand you're also looking at similar strategic options for the, uh, for the global agribusiness. When you say similar, is an IPO the most likely option? Yeah, so as you saw in OFI, we are carving out OFI, we are listing OFI, and we are uh, demerging OFI from OLAM by distributing in specie the shares of OFI to OLAM shareholders, and obviously we will be attracting new investors at the IPO. So we are considering similar options for OGA. OGA will also be carved out by the end of December. Uh, unlike OFI, we are positioning OGA as a market leading food, feed and fiber producer focused on high growth emerging markets. And because of our differentiated business model, we are delivering very high returns. And it feeds into the growing demand for uh, protein and fat-based diets as uh, uh, the emerging economies and growing are growing and transitioning the dietary habits. So when, I, when we say similar uh, strategic options, it includes all of this.